you know, when you're in a job for 10 years, whether you're the captain of a country sports team or you're a CEO, you know, there's going to be challenges along the way. And you know, I think it was important for South African cricket and myself to put those building blocks in place to get to where we are today. But yeah, you know, myself on an individual basis, there was always going to be important growth periods. You know, when you take over 22, you, you've got a lot to learn and you're going to make a lot of mistakes. But it's just, it's just rewarding to have come through those times, to be able to have handled the pressure, um, the expectation, you know, the tough times, and coupled with some good times, it's nice to get to this point where you are now, where you feel in control. When I spoke to you in August last year, you had just, you had just won the number one position mm. in the world. I mean, how, how things changed or developed in the last few months? Every time you do well, expectation grows, people's opinions grow, you know, especially with some of the incredible performances that the players have put in, the team has been put in, you know, people start demanding those, you know, and mm. I think as a team it's just about uh, meeting those, those things in, in a good way and, and maintaining our standards and performances. Just the decision to step down as a one-day captain, T20 captain. Once I've sort of found my place again, I thoroughly enjoyed being with the young guys and just being a, an experienced player that they can they can use to bounce off uh, ideas and, and enjoy the time with, you know, so. How do you feel about the future? I think, you know, I, I certainly haven't put too much expectation on myself about the future, you know. I think um, I haven't sat here and said I want to play for another five years or I want a captain for another four years. I, you know, I, I think I'm... A, Got enough experience now to assess those situations to know that um, my body feels good. Obviously, I'm important to give enough time to my family with the with the with the, the pressures of the job and the amount of time we travel these days and the amount of cricket that's being played. That's that's a big factor in my life. But um, I guess it always boils down to performance and whether you can still perform at a level, um, whether you feel as a leader you can still add value to the squad and take the squad forward. And you know, I think that experience that I've gained, I certainly have a, a good feeling of of those things. Obviously people are going to ask, uh, the danger is complacency, I mean how do you guys avoid that going forward and also especially for yourself and, and players, other players who've achieved so much. Every time you lose people are going to say you're complacent but you know there's, there's going to be different challenges that we need to meet along the way. The challenge is not going to be complacent, to make sure we're prepared well enough, we, we, we can adapt to conditions that are going to come our way. Um, you know, and we understand what it's going to take to be successful wherever we are. You know, you know, hopefully we can maintain these standards for a long time.